What up YouTube, Team Movies here. Here is my review for the new horror film on Hulu, simply titled Bad Hair. Now, Bad Hair is uh, from director and writer Justice Simon, who also direct, who last directed the 2014 movie Dear White People, which I really enjoyed Dear White People. I thought it was really clever, really interesting. Uh, and of course, uh, Justice Simon actually uh, won a Independent Spear Award uh, for that film, so well deserving right there. And he also have worked on the uh, TV show recently as well. But this is his first feature, like, feature film since 2014. And it's insane that um, he has not directed a movie since 2014. I've been wondering, I've been curious to see about his, like, next directing film. So, his new film, um, Bad Hair, which premiered at Sundance back in January with some mixed reviews. And, you know, Hulu, of course, picked it up. So I decided to check out uh, Bad Hair. Which, it's actually an interesting uh, premise. I mean, you know, this has a bit of a uh, get out feel to it at times, where uh, you enter the uh, post get out uh, residence in, uh, you know, with a uh, black core, which, there, you know, thanks to the success of get out, there has been actually more uh, black led horror films now. I mean, we got the reboot of Candyman coming, uh, we got, um, of course, there was Us. It's pretty cool to see more horror movies getting very diverse and all. And I mean, this does at times it does feel like a Joe Peel film. Like you'll you'll be um if if it doesn't say it's from director Justice Simon or anything, you'll be forgiven if you thought this was a Joe Peel film. But the film really builds um it's a fright night around the uh, oppression <laughs> of a uh, black woman um you know with their um obsession with their hair and all that. And here you got the film takes place in 1989's uh, L.A. and you got Anna portrayed by this newcomer named uh, L. Lorraine, who is working at this uh, who is working at this uh, music uh, television channel where uh, she hopes to become a uh, an um, on-air uh, host. And uh, so she, of course, uh, does her like own hair, but um, she decides to get like a new um, hairstyle, and so she ends up getting like a new hairstyle from. Uh, from Laurent, uh, Laurent Cox's character, and and of course, uh, Laurent Cox is the uh, hairstyling all uh, in this. I mean, what's it with Laurent Cox and being a hairstylist? I mean, of course, uh, she you know played a hairstylist on Orange New Black. Now this, I mean, she does it pretty well. I mean, I quite like Laurent Cox. I think she Laurent Cox is awesome, you know, and and so of course uh, she gives the hairstylist who uh, gives all uh, who gives Anna this new look, but. This new uh, pin trait. We by the, by the way, the um part where uh you know Anna ends up getting her uh hair like weave and all that, uh getting her hair like poked and that is probably one of the most intense moments I've seen in a movie this whole year. I mean, whoever knew that felt like that one of the most intense moments of the year will include someone getting um their hair pulled and all that. I mean that that was kind of an intense moment. And so she ends up getting the new um, weave, but the weave has a mind of its own. I'll just put it this way. It's kind of like, remember the 1999 movie Idle Hands with a killer hand? This is like, you know, Idle Hands, but with a but with hair. The hair ends up pretty much possessed and somehow is, you know, um, kill people. I mean, it's like a, a horror, like she's like a black horror version of Medusa in a way. And so she has to, uh, pretty much, she of course has to try to find, um, a way to, uh, you know, control it and, you know, stop it from, uh, terrorizing folks. I mean, it, it's a really interesting concept. It is creepy. I mean, it has some pretty good performances. Like, L, um, El Lorraine, who I never, I think this is her first feature film, find out a second. I thought El Lorraine was terrific. I kind of want to see her, uh, more of her in the future. Uh, you also had uh, Vanessa Williams, who uh, portrayed her on uh, New Bar Zora. I thought Vanessa Williams was terrific in this. You also had uh, Lena Way, um, who I thought was such a scene still here. You even had the likes of uh, Nicole Byers here, uh, appear in this. Uh, Usher had a part in this film. You had James Vanderbeek. Uh, you had some really cool cast lists in this one. Uh, Jay Farrow, which is... When you think of Jay Farrow, you always think of like strip comedy, whether it's SNL or white um, famous. 
but he's now having to act to appear in horror films. I mean, he was also in that movie, uh, Unsane, that Steve Soberg horror film that got released uh, a couple years back. He was pretty good in that one. And now, uh, you know, this. Jay Farrow could do horror pretty well. And I guess you could say this has a, like a body horror feel to it as well. Because, you know, the body horror is in her hair. And of course the hair is attached to So if you really want to look at it, this is a body horror film too. But yeah, I thought it was creepy. It was terrifying. The kills in this was actually pretty solid. I mean, the way the hair kills people is really insane. I mean, whoever knew that horror movie about hair that kills could work out well? It worked out pretty well in this. I mean, the ending threw me off a little, but the script was pretty cool. The performances was decent. I thought it was a pretty solid little uh, horror film. So if you guys have not really seen Bad Hair, it's on Hulu. I'll say give it a shot. It's a really decent one. Oh, and also Blair Underworld was in this shit. He was pretty solid. Anyway, uh, let me leave you guys. Did you have a chance to check out Bad Hair? If so, what you thought of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is your Simu Sign Up.